From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late, a direct from Santa Monica, California, with your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Your recon guy is back in the mix, and so is that recon that is now in the Senate and will pass in the Senate in recent days. I'll go over the latest details about how they're going to get that recon passed and why the Senate changes will be robust. What will be those changes? To a recon that already has about $15,000 of checks in there, I'll go over the latest details of that. Then we'll be turning to the exciting details of a third stimulus that's still paying out money. And with a new year upon us, now you can get more sums of money across the board. We'll be turning to soon loan debt for giving us the latest details on that, plus fifth stimulus, the latest details on that. And we'll be looking to a major vote coming in just a few days. It's on Tuesday, and that vote could signal a new impetus, a new ability to get that recon done faster and bolder than ever before. A lot of checks in this recon, a lot of money in this recon. Of all the incredible details, plus new data that came in in the last 48 hours about inflationary concerns, about the consumer price index, about those numbers that you need to know across the board and how they're impacting your pocketbook. We'll be going over everything that you need to know as we go into a big, bold, beautiful new week with all this economic data across the board. I'm excited you're here and I'm excited to be back. After three weeks in the hospital, I'm back with you with a whole slate of programming. I was live this morning on mornings. I was live at noontime and I'm now taped with you on afternoons. Doesn't mean I'm any less significant. You know, uh, if there's no bacon, there's still no bacon. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if you're live or tape. There's just still no bacon. It's just still the same situation. <laughs> Incredible details start right here, right now, as an afternoon's LA broadcast kicks up to his feet with a surf coming on in the surf. Uh, the details of the deliciousness of the fun and the excitement starts right here as afternoon's LA returns to Santa Monica, California. Hey, good after afternoon, everybody. Body, hope you are good and safe. The recon will pass in the Senate because it is passed in the House. It is now in the Senate, and the Senate changes will be robust. But there's a major vote coming on Tuesday, and what is that vote on the latest breaking news tonight? Then we go over the incredible programs that are in recon. They'll pay at least $15,000 before we get to that MSC. The checks of that third stimulus coming out across the board, and you can get another round today. I'll go over the latest details of what that round could look like on top of the $45,000 you already got across the board. Soon loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that, plus the breaking details about this stimulus and your color raise. We had some great question and answers about this at noontime. I'll be answering what you need to know about that big cola raise that comes in January, now where we are right now. Those details and more as we go into a big, bold, beautiful afternoon to LA. I'm excited you're here, but first, Subscribe. Go right in this video and hit that subscribe button. I want you part of this channel. You're watching LA Light, America's number three most watched financial news channel in America. Like this video, become a member, and get an incredible newsletter. It comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system. And with that, let's go over all the incredible details you need to know as we go into a big, bold, beautiful evenings of, of afternoons right now with those clusters of checks. The Fourth stimulus recon now in the Senate, and there is about $15,000 of checks in that recon, many checks, multiple checks, that will likely get passed in the next couple of days. I have the new comments from the White House minutes ago indicating where this recon is heading and how it's going to get done. It's all great news because you want to default to the White House as the purveyor of information before anyone else, and I have all those details as well. But first, let's go over all the incredible money in this recon, starting with the overview. About $15,000 of checks across three clusters and three add-ons. Cluster number one got in there. That is the hazard pay 
for essential workers to continue for one more year the earned income tax credit. Four thousand dollars of elder care, four thousand dollars to care for young children. They got in there the CTC child tax credit of thirty six hundred dollars for one more year. It is expired, but they would extend it for one more year. Home repairs you know, live in a low income community. Wow, that's incredible. They got $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and they got a lot more on top of that. The first add-on of checks comes from the incredible Maxine Waters. She wanted to give you $25,000 for the purchase of her first home. She got a little bit less. That's what she advocated for. And yes, this is money for the buying of your first home. This is huge. And she got it in there on the house side. Of course, again, we are now in the Senate side. Let's go to the second cluster of checks. Here we go. Home repairs and paid leave. So home repairs, this one is for weatherize your home. It's the holiday season. No, we're out of the holiday season. Weatherizing, winterizing your home. No, we're not winterizing anymore. It's spring. So it's lobster season. So you want to decorate for when Mitch shows up. Not. <laughs> paid leave. Uh, got it in there. $7,300 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. It's a lot of money, folks. $35,000 annual salary, then that would be $800 a week. Let's say if you only make $15,000 annual salary, then that would be $400 a week. How many weeks? Up to four weeks per year. It's a lot of money. And if you do not work, but you live with your son or daughter, and they take you to the doctor's office once a week, and they take off from work, then they would get the check across the board. The second big add-on of checks comes from Bob Casey, $250 billion for home health care and seniors on depot on disability. It's huge. Then what brings us to the third cluster of checks, and that's where we find true deliciousness. In that third cluster of checks, free school meals for all checks, then they got in there. The cheaper prescription medication immigration reform. They got in there also the incredible money for the farmers, the free internet. The certain provisions were removed by the Senate parliamentarian before Christmas. Remember those? So the immigration reform removed, but, um, and also clean energy, of course, removed. But for the seniors, the two provisions in there so far, and two provisions still need to be added. So what are they? Let's recap. First, the House members got in there the Medicaid gap fix, providing Medicare in those Republican holdout states, and they got in there the hearing aid. But the Senate just vowed to add in their dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to potentially as low as 55. That is that second cluster of checks. Let's turn to the third add-on. And you know what that third add-on is. It is... MSC. It refers, refers to the instrument of multiple IRS stimulus checks. Understand this recon has multiple checks in there. So the reason why we use the word MSC is to refer to the one that comes out from IRS. Back in the month of May, these legislators told thousands of viewers of this channel, it's going in there. Those senators told thousands of viewers to go in there. And when they talked about it, what'd they say? Same as it would be a third stimulus check. Single individual, 75,000 less, got it. Married couple, 150,000 less, got it. Double it. Family of four, got it. Quadruple it. You know, benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits as well. You got it. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's national. It's not state-based. And it would be offered across the board. But what provisions, what numbers... That is still up for negotiations, of course, but they had told viewers this channel they're looking at $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. It is not retroactive, so don't be marking your calendar and act at expecting it's retroactive. But remember, this is one of many instruments in this recon. Don't make it more important than something else. Don't make anything else in the recon less significant. This is just one of many instruments across the board. It's important for you to, of course, advocate for this and all other instruments, programs in this recon. And advocacy involves picking up the phone and calling these legislators, these senators who said they will take care of you when the time comes. And who are those senators you want to advocate to? They are Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. These are the senators who said that they would put in that stimulus check or more IRS. Again, Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Understand that you should be proud of yourself. You should be incredibly proud of yourself because you have delivered nearly now 9 million phone calls of advocacy to senators' offices. This graphic from October was when we were at 3 million. The American petition may be the talk of, talk of the town on other channels, on in print media, but you and I know that you have delivered 300% more than the American petition. 
We are at three million even back in October. And the chief of staff, the number one guy in the recon, had said at the time, you're, you're killing it. You're doing a lot more than even the American petition. And phone calls mean a lot more. Why? Because a petition is just a signature. It doesn't say why someone needs it. There's no, there's no story behind the signature. A phone call, however, is different. This is what the chief of staff to the number one guy on the recon said at the time. They now have been told between congressional senators' offices to see more as context of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through during this pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories and the voice of the people across the nation, you LA, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Very, very kind. Let's continue uh, what that message said thereafter. Please continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy as the professional voice of the people you have become until this becomes law. Absolutely. So advocate. Advocate. Remember that the legislators, senators, haven't gotten their provisions in there. Casey, Warren, Sanders, Schumer, Wyden, they all have stuff they want to add to the recon. They never got their stuff added in there. That event didn't happen yet. The recon is sort of on the sideline at the moment. Is the recon going to get passed? Yes. What's the new comment from the president's chief of staff, the chief of um, press, his uh, press, press secretary? I have the comment coming out this, after the commercial break. What is this big vote happening on January, on next Tuesday? And what does this mean for the recon? I have those details and more. There's a lot coming up next week, and it's very, very exciting. As we go into a weekend, it's important for you to get caught up on all these details. So I know I've been on air sporadically with videos since I was hospitalized, been back on air, trying to get you caught up. If this is the first video you've seen since my absence, I will get you caught up. There's a lot to know and a lot of details because this is all breaking news. It's going to be covered more in the second half of this video. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over that incredible recon and how it will pass in the next few weeks. Then we go over the Senate changes and how when those Senate changes will happen. We'll go over more about these programs and that incredible recon. We'll be turning back to third stimulus and his incredible ability to still pay out money across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. Plus, fifth stimulus, great questions I got at noontime today. Home ally. I'll be addressing those questions and answers again in tonight's Afternoon's LA broadcast as well. Those details are more, but first here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as your boy LA returns live on air, taped on air, broadcasting on air, direct from Santa Monica with your first new Afternoon's LA broadcast of 2022. Be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now as Afternoon as I returns for its new season of 2022. In today's recording at Director Santa Monica, we'll go over that recon and how it'll pass in the Senate. The Senate changes across the board and the new comments from the White House minutes ago indicating how they're going to get this recon done. 
we're going to go over the big programs that are in that recon that pay at least $15,000. And then we'll be turning the third summer, still paying out money across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that, plus fist stimulus, the latest details on that. I have a lot of breaking news about what Chuck Schumer is going to be doing on Tuesday, which is all important for the recon. Those details are more coming up in the second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. I'm excited you're part of the incredible community. The first go into this video and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button. Be part of the number three most watched financial news channel in America, LI Light. We're expanding programming, new shows coming to this channel in the next few days. You're going to show yourself how you can be financially independent, grow your wealth, grow your understanding, and grow your ability to become a better financial individual across the board. Hit that subscribe button, hit up, sign up for those LA alerts, totally free under the link to the description of this video, and get that incredible newsletter that comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system. And with that, let's go over everything you need to know with the breaking news tonight about what's going on with this recon. And the details start right here, right now, and here we go. Well, a lot of stuff happening in the next few days. First, I want you to stay with me all weekend long because I will be recording this weekend and I'm getting back in the groove and there's a lot to get caught up on. First, let's go over the recon itself a.k.a. the Four Symbols Package, a.k.a. the Build Back Better Act. Will it still finish? Yes. A comment that came out from the White House just minutes ago from the White House spokesperson, Andrew Bates. He says, the recon will become law. Wow. He says, every major economic bill that the White House has passed during this administration of Biden, like the American Rescue Plan, which was third stimulus, and the bipartisan infrastructure bill of fall 2021 has seen ups and downs and required doing some work while turning out the noise. We will get it done. And this is very important. So let's go over some of the nuances of this first. Will it be the same body of legislation where they start a new? No, there'll be the same body of legislation. Will things get removed? Potentially. Will things get added? Absolutely. Did they ever get to adding and removing? They did not. So we, a lot of people know about the Votorama because they're viewers of this channel. We never got to the Votorama. In fact, we never got to the many steps before the Votorama. Potentially sending the legislation to the Senate subcommittee so that the Senate, com Senate committee, subcommittee can modify it. All burning stuff not added in there which is the hearing and the vision, all of Ron Wyden's post stuff, all of Liz Warren's stuff, not added in there. And of course, your stuff. So that has not happened. That would happen before anything else. Then, call it the vote, then the voterama. Now, here's where it becomes uh, Stimulus 303, <laughs> not Stimulus 101. This is the advanced course, and the advanced course starts right now. What's important to understand is that Chuck Schumer has a brilliant, dramatic, reality TV-like, suspenseful cliffhanger event happening on Tuesday. What's going on here? What's going on here is that Chuck Schumer has realized that his ability to pass stuff as the majority leader of the Senate is dependent upon the existing Senate rules. Can you change those rules? Yeah, if you got enough votes to change it. Well, over the last year, people have been pushing to make those changes, whether it's dramatic or slight nuances. And now he believes he can get it done. What is the plan and what's happening on Tuesday? This is breaking news tonight. So, Nancy Pelosi will be passing the House of Representatives, or has already passed at the time of this airing of this broadcast, a voters' right initiative bill doesn't concern you specifically, and it's not recon money. It is a bill about voting. Now, why is it important? It's sort of like a, it's sort of like a token uh, way to set things up. Uh, y y y it's sort of like a storyline to set up a bigger issue. And what's the bigger issue? So, Nancy's passing in the House, sending it over to the Senate, so that Chuck, and this has all been detailed by Chuck and Nancy. Beyond this, we don't know the details. So let me tell you what we do know, what we don't know. Send it over to Chuck. Chuck's going to call the vote in the Senate on this voting rights initiative bill. When? As early as Tuesday, but many insiders believe it will be on Tuesday. What's going to happen? The House, the Senate Republicans will say, no, 
at that point, Chuck has set up a plan. And at this point of the recording, I can't tell you what the plan is because I don't know because fellow Democrat senators say they don't know, but they know Chuck has set something up and it's going to be quite strategic, strike quite ingenious. He's trying to call the vote on the Voting Rights Initiative. He knows the Republicans are saying no, they're going to block it. Then at that point, he's going to pivot and try to do set of changes rules saying, well, you're blocking me on this. It's time to call a vote on change the Senate rules. And that could all happen in the matter of a few hours on Tuesday. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to digest. Now, how does this impact your recon? How does this impact your money? Because the ability to get the recon passed would be made easier, a lot easier, if the Senate rule changes were effectuated. You don't need the Senate rules changes to be changed to get your recon done, but it makes it easier. To anyone who thinks they don't care, they're delaying, just call the vote, just call the this, just call the that, this is trying to make it easier on themselves. It's sort of like, um, I just want soup, just order the soup. Well, would you rather have the soup done exactly right or sort of maybe it's going to get delivered and be lumpy? Lumpy? I don't want lumpy soup. Well, this is why you sort of have to have it teed up right. So this is all happening on Tuesday. And uh, let me go with some of the quotes from Chuck Schumer that were released in the last few hours. So um, you already seen the comment from Andrew Bates that the recon will get passed. On Noontime Ally today, I said, hey, you know what? There's a lot of Republican excuse me, a lot of Democrat, Democratic leaders saying, maybe the recon this, maybe the recon is that. I'm not going to run their quotes. I'm not going to run their quotes because they don't guide policy. The White House guides policy. If the president wants to do the recon, he wants to do the recon. He said he does. The president today said the recon is going to pass. If he believes it's going to pass, it will pass. So I don't need to read a quote from a, a representative who represents a town of 200 people that says, I don't know, I don't this. I, that's just opinion. That's just an opinion quote. So I'm not going to run that type of quote. So what is Chuck going to do? So Chuck issued a statement. He issued a written statement. He says he will be calling the vote. And that will be starting with the... Um, with the voting rights initiative and and then taking it from there. Here's the actual quote. This was released Thursday night going into Friday morning, written by Chuck Schumer, Majority Leader of the Senate. Make no mistake, the United States Senate, for the first time, this Congress will debate voting rights legislation beginning on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Members of this chamber will be elected to debate and to vote, particularly on an issue as vital as the being the heart of our democracy. And on this one, we will proceed. Now, what is really behind that, then come all the other quotes. People by basically saying, I don't know, I'm a senator, I don't know what Chuck is doing, but I know he's saying something up to changing the rules. That's all coming on Tuesday. Don't want to overcomplicate it for you because it is very complicated. All right, let's go over some other things that you need to know before we go back into that recon right tonight. On Thursday, inflationary numbers were released, 7.8%. Yeah, that is December 2021 numbers. Remember, they released a month after the data. I, it's exactly what I said. In spring of last year, when I was talking about fistimus with you, which, remember, would replace COLA with a new benchmark of inflation, I said, where is inflation going to be in December 2021? Remember all those recordings? At the time, in spring of last year, Jay Powell, the head of Federal Reserve, said inflation will go to 2 to 3%. It will be transitory and come back down, meaning it will be temporary. And I did this graphic, and I said... I don't buy it. I think it's going to be higher. I said 8% initially. And then I felt the pressure. <laughs> I felt the pressure. I felt I was too high. And I said, okay, I'll go down to 5%. Maybe I'll say 5%. But I don't think it's going to be temporary. I think it's going to be around a while. Jeremy Siegel at the time, the Wharton School Business Professor, was at 20%. I said it's not going to be 20%. But it ain't going to be 2%. Well, I was right. It came in at 7.8% yesterday, Thursday. Exactly what your boy, Adelaide, had predicted through the early months of spring and summer before I felt the pressure to come back down lower to 5%. That's the first one. Number two, it's not transitory. It's not temporary. It's going to be around for a little bit. Number three, this is very important tonight for you to know. The inflationary pressure you see at, that is reflecting that labor number that I just went over with you just a second ago from the month of December is separate from the new inflationary concerns that are being caused by Omicron. Now, you know, if you've been watching this channel for the last few months, that I first made the very first Omicron video, and at the time I called it 
Omicron. I didn't even know what it was. Uh, I think it was the day after Thanksgiving or the day around Thanksgiving. It was that new. And Omicron, we now know, Omicron has now created its own inflation event. Why? Because Omicron is keeping so many people out of the workforce because so many people are getting it that that is causing labor shortage, supply chain issues, inability to stock merchandise, inability for businesses to make money, inability for you to get the goods and services you want. And then markups come in because it costs more to hire temporary labor to get the things filled. It just compounding, compounding, compounding. Omicron is creating its own inflationary event, which is separate apart from the inflationary concerns that we already had. The consumer price index number released this morning. Allied has the data for you. Retail sales declined 1.9% in December, worse than expected. Uh, and weaker res- online sales were responsible for this. Surprising. You would think that people were buying more online because they didn't want to go to stores from Omicron. Well, it's because um, less cash on hand. Less cash on hand. The consumer price index rose um, to uh, a two point five percent for the month, bringing the year over year gain to seven percent, the highest since June uh, nineteen eighty two. So that's consumer price index. How is the CPI? How much things cost at issue? Sort of at at at, at, at point. Um, but a lot of sales went down. Here's a side note. <laughs> I just want to throw it in there. It doesn't belong anywhere. Sort of hysterical. So uh, Dogecoin went on a rally yesterday. Why? Because Elon Musk sent out one tweet with four words. You can now buy Tesla merchandise with Dogecoin. (laughs) Who cares? (laughs) Who cares? Now, here's the funny part of the story, because you know why I'm bringing the story up, because it's it's a joke. It's it's like like a comedy hour. If you... (laughs) You can now buy Tesla merchandise, which I'm sure you were. Weren't you buying Tesla merchandise? All right. <laughs> How much Tesla merchandise have you see me wearing? Not. Uh, you can now buy Tesla merchandise with Dogecoin, but you cannot return it with Dogecoin. <laughs> so let's say you buy a Tesla t shirt, it doesn't fit, and you want to get a refund back. You will not be refunded in Dogecoin. They will refund you, I think, in cash. That's very, very. Uh, uh, Society's just going crazy. <clears throat> just going crazy. <laughs> so there you go. All right, let's go into um, the big provisions you need to know across this incredible recon. And let's go over the Senate changes that are at issue. This recon has a lot of money in there. I want to go over all this incredible sums of money in this Forcemos recon. Everything that was in there before my absence is still in there. Nothing has been removed, but stuff still has to be added in there across the board. And the programs have at least $15,000 of checks to start. Now, remember my messaging, if you watched yesterday's videos and the day before, is that I made very clear in a tough love moment, which I will repeat sporadically, that one, I do not have MSC written on my face. Two, I am not the MSC guy. Number three, this is not the MSC channel. And number four, this is not a one instrument, one topic channel. MSC is important as everything else is important. So if you tune in only for MSC, it's covered. If you only want to hear about MSC, we're not doing it here. It's one of many, many programs in this incredible recon. And let's go over some of them right now. So they got in there the salt cap. Salt cap, really incredible. It allow you to deduct $72,500 of what you pay in state and local taxes on your federal tax return, more than what the Trump administration gave you, which was $10,000 cap. Huge. They got cheaper prescription medications in there. And this is big across the board. It'll start with 10 medications by the year 2025 and grow to 20 medications by the year 2028. Um, and some insulin products, for example, drop from $1,000 to $35 a dose. Just incredible. They got job training in there, $40 billion of free job training in there. Um, huge because people are still quitting their jobs thinking they can get a higher paying job. And even for people who are sidelined because of Omicron, this is big across the board. They got in there the Medicaid gap fix. What is this? So there are Republican states that have never never allowed to pay for Obamacare in those states. So those 12 holdout states will now have a workaround plan that provide years to subsidize private insurance to low-income uninsured people in the states. Incredible great news. They got in there the housing assistance, $150 billion of housing assistance, which is um, the repairs of a low-income family, 
Um, let's go over the provisions that are new and the provisions that repeat from third stimulus. So the provisions that are new are um, home repairs, which we went over in this video, the weatherize your home, and then the provisions that repeat from third stimulus <laughs> come on back, uh, and they are rent, utilities, mortgages, and some more. Now, the great news is you don't have to wait for four stimulus, and you shouldn't wait for four stimulus. You can get them right today from third stimulus. And let's go over all those incredible details starting right now. Third stimulus is still paying out. It's surprising that I even say this because we are now in January 2022. A lot of these provisions went live in January 2021. And how much money is it? What are this money? And what are the details? And what is new today? Let's go over all the details. Get your pen and paper ready. Here we go. Third stimulus paid viewers initially about $45,000 when it went live in 2021. Viewers got another round in some cases last summer. Then they got that what we called the Christmas stimulus last Christmas, about $15,000 again. But you can get another round today and you should get another round today. And I'm going to go over the details of that starting right now. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, all these incredible sums of money. Get your pen and paper ready. We're we'll starting with the rent. Back in the month of October, the rent numbers on this channel were about twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Where are the rent numbers now? They've grown a lot. They are upwards of forty thousand dollars of rent. Where do you get this rent? How does it work? What do the numbers look like? Let's go over all the details starting right now. So here you go. Uh, rent was twenty to thirty thousand dollars at the time. This is what viewers were getting. Now viewers are getting upwards of forty thousand dollars. Where do you get it from? Six places. City Hall. Take note. If you're a member of this channel and you get that newsletter seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time, pull it out in front of you and follow along with me right now. It comes out seven p.m. Monday through Friday. If you're not a member, sign up for that membership link. It's right under the video right today. It, you know, the members of this channel are making are getting tens of thousands of dollars, and the membership is just pennies uh, to become a member. All right. Here are the places you get the rent from. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three things you do. You reach out to all different places. Number two, you don't put uh, you don't put one application on file. You put as many applications on file. Number three, you get multiple rounds. Let's go over those rounds right now. This is January 14th, 2022. If you're making a phone call today, which you should or if you made a phone call yesterday, you should be getting the rent as far into the future as possible. Shoot for April, shoot for May. If you pick up the phone and call the organization off from before, try it. They say we're out of funds, then default to, to the nonprofits. There are six nonprofits, and because they're nonprofits, they often get replenished with a new year, where we are right now, because they are funded by benefactors. So lean on those nonprofits. Utility assistance. Go get it. Go get it. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. The number's incredible. Utility assistance because of COVID. Snap. Get him money for food. Contact Department of Agriculture. Get on Snap. It went up 25% lifetime automatically starting the month of October. Mark's brother-in-law got $25,000 a year. He's getting a quarter million dollars over the next year, 10 years because of his channel. Nisi and Art Sullivan started us on understanding the importance of getting multiple items, combo items. So they got three. Mark was at two. I said to Mark, where's your third? He went to from 32000 to 50000 Now he's at over 100000 Lorraine, she was at 105, now she's at 120, which brings us an incredible story of one viewer who listened and learned so well, and his name is Johnny. Johnny was a viewer several months ago who started the Monday with zero, and by Wednesday had $45,000 from three programs approved. He was not alone. There's two other people he did not even know that did the same thing. The difference with Johnny was he listened. I said, keep on getting other sums of money wherever you can get them, showing you how many different things you can get. So Johnny continued to push. By the end of the week, he got seven programs approved. Great. How much did he get? $80,000. $80,000 in just five days. Now, why is Johnny's part one so important? Because to get seven programs approved, Johnny would have had to have made at least 15 phone calls. Why? Because you're going to have a, up towards of a 50% rejection rate on the phone. They're going to say no about 50% of the time. So Johnny made at least 15 phone calls, in my opinion, to get seven yeses in five days. That's part one of the incredible story. Part two of the incredible story was the following Monday, he reached out to his two family members and said, hey, you know what happened? What happened? I got $80,000 last week. $80,000 from where? LLA, oh, I've heard about it. 
uh, what did he help you with? Third someone. They said, I never heard about this. Why does broadcast media not cover it? They don't cover it. I don't. I cover it. LA Light, you're watching right now. It's the number three most watched financial news channel in America. This is what I cover. I cover what's this subject matter, which is called geopolitical news. It's money and financing as impacted by Congress and the presidency. I don't cover so much, you know, options and bonds. Um, there's a lot of other financial subjects to cover. They don't cover that. They don't cover this. I don't cover that. And that is why this channel is exploding. There's a lot of new shows coming to this channel in the next few weeks. Metaverse. You've seen the crypto shows are now rebranded as Metaverse crypto shows. And a lot of other financial shows come to this channel in, in recent days. So stay with me. And those two family members, by the end of the week, got $50,000. Then, part three of Johnny's incredible story was viewers kept on, fans kept on coming over saying, Johnny, I heard about this help. Can you tell me what it is? They watched the channel, these friends and family. They watched, they became members, they became subscribers. And in, in a few weeks, 32 people were helped by Johnny. How much of those 30 people, 32 people get? $850,000. And there you go. I had a tough love moment I delivered on camera um, two days ago, and I want to do it again right today. I've said it before, but I don't say it all the time. And the tough love moment is that you can pick up the phone. You can get this money. I know you can. I don't care if you're a senior. I don't care if you live alone. I don't care if you don't know how to go on the internet. You can certainly pick up the phone and call. You have the ability and the capability to do this. Um, that is what this channel is about, empowering you to do things. This channel is not a channel for you to hold out your hand and ping, 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 put things in your hand. This is not a channel to have volunteers do all the work for you. There was someone on Twitter who I blocked last night, sent a message that said something like, I reached out to the so-called volunteers. How disrespectful. Uh, coming after my volunteers. I mean, you can come after me, but don't come after my volunteers. The so I reached out to the so-called volunteers, and I never got any money out of them. Uh, the, I'm so sorry. The volunteers don't have money trees in the backyard. <laughs> they don't. They don't even have Crayola trees in the backyard. <laughs> they don't have crayon trees in the backyard. I just. Where did that person think that the volunteers just hand out cash? This is not. Uh, <laughs> This is not that big box retail store where you, draw, where you go at, at lunchtime and you go around and just have the samples of the little piece of pizza, the little hot dog. I, I just want little free samples. I want to eat for free with little samples. And then you leave and you'll buy a thing. No, <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that example. But that's sort of what I thought about. You can make the phone call. You can get this incredible system of money. Let's go back into this incredible recon, this four systems recon, and let's go over where we left off with incredible provisions in there across the board. Uh, there is so much going on that that needs me to get you caught up on all this news that I want you to make sure you watch all the recordings um, throughout the next few days because they are not going to be the same. There is so much that has happened in just a short period of time. And because I was not on air for, for three weeks, I got a lot to cover and I can't cover it in every single video, even if the running time is 45 minutes. So make sure you catch every single video throughout the day. Watch for the set, look and the backdrop. You'll be able to tell when it is a new show based upon the poinsettia plants behind me. Let's go into the incredible other provisions of this recon starting right now. So, what are the other provisions that pay you at least $15,000 of checks? So, we left off of the housing provisions. Also in there, they got in there the um, incredible in-home health care. The $250 billion of Bob Casey got in there for home health care and seniors and people with disabilities. They got in there um, the $550 check for the college students, the boost check. If you're on the Pell Grant, $550 check to each college student. Incredible. They got in there nutrition assistance, $65 per child per month when they're not in school across the board. Uh, they got in there also the incredible, uh, one of the best provisions of Tire Recon is the cheaper prescription medication. So this will start with 20 medications year day one, 2020. 20, 2028, almost 30 medications, not increasing more than the rate of inflation. This is huge across the board. Then um, the other provisions that are important that need to get taken care of have still not been done yet. These are among all of Bernie's incredible provisions. Um, they got in there, the paid leave. Will it survive? We'll see. Uh, did the Senate parliamentarian remove it? She did not. Uh, and then let's go over some other provisions in there. Universal pre-kindergarten, got it in there. 
Childcare, got it in there. Child tax credit, one more year. Earned income tax credit for my essential workers, got it in there. Home health care, got it in there. Uh, a lot of these provisions you may have seen before in the third stimulus and expired. Well, they're coming on back across the board. All right, let's turn back now to understanding what's going on with the vote, the changes, the nuances, and everything else you need to know about this for Simmons Recon as we go into a new week. First, the White House is now seeing that there is a lobbying group that's trying to derail the recon, featured on this channel two days ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, the moment I came back on air, immediately I had a protagonist, a villain. I love it. Don't you love it? It's just like it's just it's just like reality TV made perfectly for me. You know, here I am. I'm coming back from hospitalization for three weeks, and then some organization that's trying to kill your recon while I was gone. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like a Godfather episode, doesn't it? You know, the guy is in the hospital, and then an organization comes out of nowhere tries to kill your recon while I'm in the hospital. Now, not because I was in the hospital. Let's make it very clear. I'm, I'm, I'm embellishing the story. It just happens to tee up the timeline. That's the timeline. I, while I was in the hospital, this organization came around and tried to kill your recon. They have not, but they're still trying. The only difference is I'm now here, back. And you are, and I'm going to tell you about them. <laughs> That's the difference. And yeah, they haven't met you, but now you're going to meet them. So who are they? They are the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. It's a lobbying group. It's a private organization. It is not part of the U.S. government. There is the U.S. Department of Commerce. That is not them. This is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. But what are they doing? They're running these ad campaigns uh, in two states, Sinema State and Mansion State. And they're trying to make Sinema and Mansion look like they're some heroes and doing something that they've never done. Uh, and what are they doing? So this organization is running an ad campaign and says, thank you, Sinema, for killing the recon. She didn't kill the recon. <laughs> thank you, Manchin, for destroying the recon. He didn't destroy the recon. And that's not even his mindset. He wants to do the recon. So why are they doing this? Because this organization doesn't want the recon. Why does the organization not want the recon? I mean, who cares? It's just all ridiculousness. I covered it on two nights ago. I'm not going to cover their Stupidity. It's just it's just stupid. Uh, it makes no logical sense. It's not economically logical. It's not business savvy. It's just all wrong. So what are they doing? They're running ad billboard ads on the side of the road saying, let's kill the recon. They're advocating to kill the recon. So make your voice louder than ever. Advocate for the whole recon. That's why we talked about earlier in this video. We're not just talking about MSC on this channel. We're not only talking about one instrument. Brian Lynn Glenn wants the First time home purchases. Um, a lot of people want that home health care. A lot of people want the prescription medication. Viewers want different items for this recon. Advocate. Don't let this organization try to come out of the 11th hour out of the left field and try to derail anything. I'm not going to say they are, but don't let them. Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Advocate for all the incredible provisions you need to advocate for in this incredible recon. Uh... This organization is not affiliated with the United States government. It is just a private organization. Omicron. The situation in Omicron is very serious. Let me go over a little bit about Omicron tonight, its impact on your wallet, the impact on this economy, and the impact of it going forward. A lot of people have been asking my opinion about the situation, and I'm going to address it not in a health situation, but an economic situation right now. First, I did not have Omicron. That was not why I was absent. I did not have COVID. Not that, that there's anything wrong about COVID. I, that was not why I was here. What's going on right now? COVID with Omicron is so widespread. So many people are getting it that people, that, that places of work are understaffed dramatically. Like I've never seen since the start of this pandemic. Take any business, take any doctor's office, take any grocery store. Down 20%, 30%, 40 50 60% of staffing. And that causes a lot of problems. It causes a lot of problems. And the problems compound themselves because you can't get the goods, you can't get the product, you can't get the services. And if you can't get it, then how do you get it done? You may be bringing the temporary replacements uh, workers, and they may ask for a higher salary to, to cover it. Or you may have to spend extra money to have pay overtime for your existing staff to cover some people that are calling out sick, and because you're calling in paying overtime, you could pass the price over to someone else. 
All this keeps on compounding across the board. Omicron going away? Not today. Going away next week? Not this week. Not going away this month? Not this month. Um, personal message to my viewers, people have asked me what I think about the situation first. Please get every shot you can get. Get double vaccinated and get boosted. But my best advice to viewers is just don't go anywhere. It sounds uh, like March 2020. It is. My Here is what I'm personally doing with my life. I'm not going anywhere if I don't have to. I There were two different levels of how I reacted at the start of the pandemic. You watched me from day one of the pandemic. I was recording on Manhattan Beach, uh, Hermosa Beach, on April 25th in a beach that was vacant. Those very first videos where you saw me, you may have seen some people in the background, um, young kids in the afternoon, in April 25th, 26th, 2020. They were not masked. Initially, people were not masked in Southern California in that first few days of April. It didn't take a little bit of time until people understood the significance of masking. I was masked then uh, and remained masked up until about a week ago with a bandana mask. I always assumed a bandana mask, you know, good, not good. So apparently you really need to now have a surgical mask, at least as the first level. And then if you want to put cloth on top of it, you can't. Cloth by itself is not effective, we now know. Um, the surgical mask, you want to have the, the, the metal part on, on the nose here so that there's a seal there and there's a seal here. You can double mask, you can surgical and, and, and that's why I mean surgical, I mean the cheapest, the cheap, the cheap mask it does not have to be N98 or, you know, whatever number it is, but just a cloth mask, not enough. Um, the best way to keep yourself safe, don't go places, literally do not go places. Uh, viewers have been really talking about it in the live chats and they really interact with it so well. There's a lot of wonderful ways to have things delivered. And it doesn't cost a lot more money. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes it's included in the price. Get things delivered. Limit your interactions with the with other things. Am I at the point in which I was in March of 2020 where I was, you know, I bought the can of soup at the market and I brought it back and I washed it down before I bring it in the house? No, I'm not that level yet. Um, I may not go back to that level uh, of, 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 of concern, but I, you know, I'm not going to go into a department store and buy a pair of jeans. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I will wait till Omicron's gone before I go back into a department store and buy a pair of jeans. I'm not doing that right at the moment. Uh, not a priority. If I have to go to a supermarket, I am in and out as quickly as I can, and I'd rather not be in there. Um, and I'll go in maybe in an off hour or a supermarket that's very empty. Make sure you take care of yourself. I love you to death, and I love the viewership and the viewers of this channel. And I want you to be healthy and safe. Next, programming guidelines, uh, guidance. So if you see, <laughs> this is the running gag. If you see these poinsettias, it's a new show. That's the, that's the bit. If you see, and we don't know if it's poinsettia or poinsettias. There's a big disagreement on this one. <laughs> so if you see these poinsettias, and they're from October, and they're still alive. They're from October, and they're still alive. So they're, they're, they're just, they're just I, they're, yeah, they're, they're incredible. So if you see them, it's a new show. If I change the set, I'll tell you that I'll tell you that I change the new set. There'll be a mixture of live and air, a live and tape. There'll be a mixture of encore and new. You'll know it's new based upon this set. My schedule is sort of uh, a little chaotic, but it's becoming a little bit more normalized. So um, that will allow me to sort of give you a more normalized schedule across the board. Even the time of this recording, this is being taped, uh, Lord. Oh, I'm rolling my eyes because I'm like at the time. This is being taped at 3 o'clock, to air at 3 o'clock. So I'm light now. I'm light now. This would normally air tape, be taped early in the day. So I'm going to upload it, and maybe you'll see it at 4 o'clock. So it, this is going to be a very light. Have I gotten the evening show ready? No. Uh, I may not have an evening show ready for tonight. I'll, we will see. And Until I get back into a repertoire, then things will be a little bit chaotic. But I love you to death. I love all your kindness. And I love all your um, incredible thoughts across the board. Uh, and with that, um, so much happening next. Coming up this evening is Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. Then Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock. Holiday Stream Stimulus is now Stream Stimulus once again at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock is our new hit show, Evenings 
extra. And then we have shows throughout the night, uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11.30 before we return tomorrow morning at 3, 3.30 and 4 a.m. with Early Mornings LA, which may be encore. I still have not taped a new Early Mornings LA show and then back with you on mornings at 9 a.m. And with that, I want you part of incredible family, so subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. You can hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Thank you for all your incredible comments and, and thoughts and prayers. I'm getting to each and one, every one of you on Instagram, social media, Twitter, Facebook, one at a time across the board. Tell people I'm back. I know there's a lot of shows, and so people may not still know I'm back. Tell them I'm back. Tell them to watch. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to come on back. You ain't going to see this level of research. <laughs> this is just for today. This level of research anywhere. You ain't going to find that anywhere across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful afternoon, and stay valet for more.